So one of the best ways to get new email subscribers for your business is by using signup forms. Now in this video, I'll share how I create a signup form for my online dog training business using the email marketing tool Bravo. So if you're new to Bravo and would like to try it out, please use my link to sign up. You can find my link in the description below. And if you do sign up using my link, I'll give you free access to my Bravo University page. So this is my Bravo University page. And on this page, I'll give you access to all these lessons for free. And in these lessons, you'll find quick and easy to follow videos for you to get started with Bravo, just like the video you're watching right now. So to create a sign-up form using Bravo, you're gonna go to contacts and then you're gonna click on forms and I'm gonna click on create a new subscription form so I'm going to call this form puppy checklist and if you want to enable the GDPR fields on your form you can do that over here so if you do enable this setting the GDPR compliance fields will be added to your form such as the consent checkboxes so those will be added to your form helping you ensure compliance with data protection regulations so in this case I'm not going to do that I'll leave the checkbox unchecked and proceed to the next step by clicking the next button. So apparently I already have a form with this exact name. So I'm gonna call this Poppy Checklist 1. I'm gonna click on the next. So this next step is the design tab. And here we can drag and drop elements onto the form builder. So for example, you can add a text element, but here you can also add the GDPR fields if you want, as you can see. So in my case, I'm gonna remove this. Yes, delete. I'm gonna remove this text field as well. Yes, delete. So for my form, which I'm creating for my online dog training business, I'm gonna change this title to something like this. So the free puppy socialization checklist, since that's what I'm gonna give away to my new subscribers when they submit their email address. So I want to keep the form short and concise. So I'm gonna remove this subtitle over here. So I'm gonna click this bin icon and I'm gonna say, yes, I want to delete this. So next I'm gonna change this label name. So now it says, enter your email address to subscribe. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna double click on it. And I'm gonna change this text to this. So to where can I send the free checklist? I'm also gonna remove this help text, provide your email address to subscribe. So again, I want to have a very clean form. So I'm gonna remove this help text by unchecking this box over here. And for the button, I'm gonna change the text. So now it says subscribe. So I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna change it to download checklist. And I also want to give this button a more prominent look and I'm gonna change the color of it. And we can do that over here on the left-hand side. Here it says a background color. And here I can change the color of the button. You can do that by just clicking on the colors over here, but you can also change the color code if you know the exact color code. So in my case, I know the color code I want, which is this color code. So I like the green color. So lastly, I'm gonna go back to build and I'm also gonna add an image. So I'm gonna go to image and I'm gonna drag that element onto the form builder. So I already created an image for the free puppy socialization checklist and I'm gonna select that image. So I'm gonna click on choose an image. So in my case, I already have the image imported into my files. If you don't have it imported into your files yet, you can click on upload to upload your file. So I'm gonna select the image I wanna add to my form and I'm gonna click on insert. So I find the image a little bit too big. So I'm gonna change it over here and I'm gonna change it to 250. And for the alignment, I'm gonna select the left option. I will now click on next. So as you can see, this warning just appeared after I clicked on the next button. So we strongly recommend you use the reCAPTCHA confirmation to prevent spam bots from adding fake data to your list. So if you don't know what reCAPTCHA is, I'll quickly show you what it is. So I'm gonna click on return to this step. And here we can add this CAPTCHA to the form so we can drag it onto the form which basically says I'm not a robot so I'm not gonna add that to my form because I feel confident about the data I'm collecting and I don't anticipate spam issues and also I'm not a big fan of adding such a uh, captcha form to my signup forms as it'll probably lower my form submissions 
So if you do experience a lot of spam bots signing up to your form, you can always go back and enable this captcha onto your form so to prevent fake data from being added to your list. But personally, I've never needed to do that for my companies. And also, I regularly clean up my list by removing email addresses that don't engage with my emails. But that's a topic for a different video. So let's continue. So I'm going to remove this CAPTCHA block. So I'm going to click on this bin icon over here. I'm going to say, yes, I want to delete it. I'm going to click on this next button. So again, we get that warning, right? But that doesn't really matter. We can still continue going through the steps to create the signup form. So next, as you can see, we have to select a list where the new contacts will be added after they submit their email address onto our form. So you can either choose an existing list by selecting it from the options over here. So here you can see I only have one list, so I can select this list and continue to the next step. But you can also create a new list by clicking on create a list. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to call it the main puppy list. So I'm going to click on create a list. And now the main puppy list is selected. And now I'm going to click on next to continue the process of creating this signup form. So now we have to configure the confirmation settings for our form. So this step determines how the subscription process is confirmed after the user submits the form. So after they enter their email address in the form. So we have three options. So first, we have the double confirmation email. So this option sends an email with a double opt-in link. So subscribers must click the link in the email to confirm their subscription. So it's the most secure method to ensure you're adding genuine and engaged contacts to your list. So you can also customize what happens after they click the link in the confirmation email. So confirmation page after submitting the form. So here you can change those settings, confirmation page after clicking on the validation link in the email, final confirmation email. So the second option is the simple confirmation email. So this method immediately subscribes a contact to your list without requiring any additional action. So in the first step, they first have to click the link in the email to be subscribed to your email list. So in the second option, the contact will be immediately subscribed to your email list when they submit their uh, email address in your signup form. So the second option, the simple confirmation email does allow you to send some kind of confirmation email to the subscriber after they submit the form. And then lastly, we have the third option, which is the no confirmation email. And so the last option, the no confirmation email is pretty similar to the simple confirmation email, but no email is sent to the subscriber in the last option. So that's why it's called the no confirmation email, but they are automatically subscribed to your list upon submitting the form. So for my sign up form, I'm creating, so for my puppy checklist form, I'm going to use the second option. So the simple confirmation email. So why do I choose the second option? So my plan is to give away a free checklist as you just saw in my sign up form I'm creating. And I don't want my subscribers to go through the hassle of clicking a button in an email to secure that free checklist. I'm not a big fan of that process, although it is uh, the most secure way. I'm not a big fan of that process. So instead, I'll go with option two, so the simple confirmation email. And in that confirmation email, I will immediately send them the checklist with an email. So additionally, I will also create a confirmation page after they submit the form. So when they enter their email address in this field, click this button, they will see a confirmation page I will create the moment they submit uh, their email address in the form. So there is one downside of this process inside Bravo, and that is that we cannot create the confirmation email. So the simple confirmation email, we cannot create that email inside this uh, form builder, which is a bit inconvenient. So instead, we'll have to leave this window and create the simple confirmation email and the confirmation page, also this page. So we have to create them separately. So to create this confirmation email, we're going to go to campaigns and then I'm going to click on templates. So I will now click on this button at the top right corner, create a template, and I'm going to select the email template. So you have to give your template a name. So make sure you give that template a name that's recognizable. So you can select that template when we're going back to our form builder. 
So in my case, I'm gonna call it the poppy checklist confirmation email. Next, we have to enter the subject line for that email. And the subject line I'm gonna use is here's your free poppy socialization checklist. Then you can enter a preview text. So the preview text I'm gonna use is your free poppy checklist is just a click away. Check it out now. Then over here, you can change the from email address and the from name. Then there are some more settings, but I'll leave those settings at default. So I'm gonna go to the next step. So I'm gonna click on next step. And now we're at the design step. So for the template of our email, I'm gonna use the start from scratch template. I'm gonna click on it. And over here, I'll select the text element and I'm gonna drag and drop it onto the email builder. So in terms of the text, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna paste my text into the email form builder. I'm gonna make sure it is properly styled. So I'm gonna give some enters over here. So the idea of this text is obviously to give away this free checklist. So download your free checklist now. So this text, download your free checklist now, we have to add a link to that particular text so people can download our PDF file. So this is the PDF file I created. So the puppy socialization checklist. So thank you for downloading the checklist and then we created the checklist to socialize your puppy with people etc 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 so the downside of bravo is that bravo doesn't offer an option to host these files so to host these pdf files so we need to host it elsewhere so for example on google drive and that is what I did. So as you can see, we're now in Google Drive. So I've uploaded that file to my Google Drive and I will now click on the share button over here. And I make sure that this setting is on anyone with the link can view the file. So to double check that everyone can view this file, even if they're not in our Google Drive account, you can copy this link. So I'm using Google Chrome. And if I click on these three dots over here, I can click on the new incognito window. So if you can view the file in the incognito mode, you know for sure that everyone can access it, not just people with permissions in your Google Drive account. So once confirmed, you can copy this URL and you can close this incognito window. You can then return to the Bravo template and we can select this text and we're gonna add a URL to that text. So I'm gonna click on add a link. I'm gonna paste in the URL and I'm gonna click on insert. And now the URL is added to that particular text. So I'm now ready with this email. So I'm gonna click on save and quit. And then to finalize this process for this email, I'm gonna click on save and activate this email template. Template is saved and activated successfully. So next we need to create a confirmation page that people will see once they submit their email address in our signup form. So I've used my own website to create this landing page you see over here, which basically says, check your email. And that is that email we just created. So now that we've created both the landing page and the email template, we can go back to the form settings. So I'm gonna go back to contacts. I'm gonna go to forms, and then I'm gonna select the form we were creating. And we're gonna scroll down back to the settings, and I'm gonna select the simple confirmation email and now I'm gonna select the template we just created and the template will be at the bottom of the list which is the poppy checklist confirmation email and I'm also gonna select this checkbox over here confirmation page after submitting the form and that is the page I just created over here and I'm gonna copy this URL I'm gonna go back to my Bravo settings and I'm gonna enter that URL over here I'm gonna click on next so now we are in the messages section and these are the default messages users will see based on their actions, such as a success message or an error notification. I'll leave these settings at default and I'll click on next. So now we're at the share section and here you can copy the link to your form. So this is the link to your form. You can copy it over here. And as you can see, if you paste that URL into your web browser, you can test the form. As you can see, it now works. You can also grab the embed codes to embed the form onto your blog or onto your website. So once you've shared your form, you can click on done and your form is ready to use. So if the information in this video was helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And you can also request access to this Notion page. So the Bravo University I created. So using this page will give you just a quick 
an easy overview of the different lessons and videos I created and instructions of using Bravo. So to request access to this document, you need to make sure you use my link to sign up for Bravo. And when you do, make sure to email me at info at creatorrack.com and I'll give you free access to this mini course of Bravo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.